Hey guys, welcome back to Project Cummins. We're going to be doing some work on the truck that involves a torque wrench. In order to use the torque wrench properly, we have to make sure that it's calibrated properly. There's a few ways to make sure that it's at calibration or close to calibration. One of those ways is to have it sent out for a fee and have someone else calibrate it. That fee usually tends to be equal to or more than the original cost of your tool. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I'm going to be showing you two ways that you can do this calibration at home. One's not going to, probably not going to cost you anything as long as you have these items in your home already. And the other is going to be a way that you can spend a few extra dollars to make sure that it's very accurate at home. So one of the things that we need to do is to inspect our tool. I like to keep mine in the case. This protects it from dropping, from um, things dropping on it. And as you can see, mine's not a very expensive torque wrench. It is a Sun X. But you can also see that there is really nothing wrong with it. Or, or there's no major me uh, mechanical defects. Operates pretty smooth. Try the other direction. Once again, operates pretty smooth. So now that we have the first part of this step down, let's move on to the uh, close to accurate calibration that's rather cheap or free if you have the right stuff in your home to do it. For the first calibration technique, we're going to need a few things. First, we're going to need a measuring tape or a ruler. One foot is all you need. You don't need no yardstick or nothing. Then we're going to need some weight. I have here weights for my gym, 25 pounds on a steel wire. Another thing that would be very handy would be a bench vise. I'm going to assume you don't have a bench vise. So what we're going to use instead is one of the lug nuts off of the truck. That's all you're going to need for the first one. So let's get Now the first thing we're going to need to do is get our torque wrench and we're going to have to set it to 25 foot pounds because that's the weight I have. And as you can see, I've already done that. Then we're going to go to our tire here and get the correct size socket, put our lug nut, and attach our torque wrench. You want it to be relatively level, maybe a slight incline up. Then you want to go to get your measuring tape and go to the one foot mark. Starting at the middle of the torque wrench, measure out one foot. Alright, one foot on mine is right on the underline where it says foot pounds. Then you're going to want to take your weights that you have on your steel wire and go right where the one foot mark was and you'll want to slowly drop it. You should hear the torque wrench click right when you're letting go of the weights. Did you hear that click? So we know that in this cheap version of how to calibrate your torque wrench that your torque wrench is set to bare minimum of 25 foot-pounds. Now this is not completely accurate because it could be 24. But this is a very close way of how to make sure that your torque wrench is calibrated. Okay, so that's one way of how to make sure that your torque wrench is accurate or close to being accurate for free or next to nothing. This next way, which I like personally, is going to be using a tool you can buy right around $50 
give or take 10, 15 bucks, depending on where you buy it, so on and so forth. Now what I have here is made by Powerbilt. And it's called the Powerbilt Torque Adapter. It's a really nifty little tool and for the price, it's really handy. So if you have this product, here's how we're going to go about making sure that our torque wrench is within spec. You're going to want to start by turning it on. And as you'll see up here, there are the different uh, types of torque for foot pound, inch pound, so on. As you can see, ours is already set to foot pound. And you can do that by pushing these two buttons here at the same time. And then you want to make sure that it's at the torque range that you want to check for. Now because our torque wrench goes all the way up to 150 foot-pounds, we want to get somewhere in the middle. So we're going to go a nice even number of 70 foot-pounds. And you do that by these buttons down here. As you see, I have it set for 70 foot-pounds. And once that number stops flashing, you're ready. Okay, now that we're back to zero, we're going to go back to the lug nut. This is also great if you had a vise, because it does come with a little adapter to calibrate this on a bench. But we're going to go back to the lug nut, cheaper that way, and we're going to see just what the torque spec is on our torque wrench. So now that we have everything set up, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make sure that your torque specification is within check. I've already gone ahead and taken the torque wrench out of its specification to show you how easy this tool works. Now with my Allen key, I will be putting it back into its correct calibration as we go along. So, set to 70 foot-pounds, and our torque wrench is set to 70 foot-pounds. I'm going to go ahead and apply pressure and see where it comes out. Granted, the tool is upside down, so bear with me. Now, as you see, that green light is coming on. That is to show us when we are near our torque. It'll turn yellow and then red, and it'll also beep. Coming up on 30, coming up on 40, 50. Uh-oh, getting close. 68. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Go ahead and take a little bit more out of out of spec here for you. All right, let's try this again. Forty, fifty, sixty. Okay, we clicked at sixty-eight. So that's out of spec. Pretty nifty little tool. So now we're going to do it again. I'm going to have this handy to put it as close as I can to 70 to make sure we have this correct. And here we go again. Okay, one more time. That was pretty close to 70. I'm going to do it one more time to make sure that it's in correct spec because I don't want to over torque anything or under torque anything. So here we go. Okay, so it's not correct. I'm going to have to set it back a little bit because we went over 70 without a click. Here we go again. Over 70 without a click. Whoop, was that right? Nope, back just a little bit. Five. 60, whoops, a little bit more. One more time here. Almost. Okay, 
70s. So we're right about 70. Now that's just to show you just how accurate this tool Those is. Those are the two ways that you can do your calibration at home. Now obviously the first way isn't very accurate. But it really won't cost you anything because you probably will have those kind of items around your home. Now for the second one, the little adapter, for about $50 to $60, that's a damn accurate calibration at a very cheap price. Now I know some of you have already gone to go ahead and figure out what I'm going to say next. This little tool can also be your torque wrench. You can use a regular wrench and put on this, now you have a torque wrench for about $50, $60. That's pretty cheap considering you can buy a torque wrench all the way up to $1,000. Granted, those are very expensive, but they still need calibrated. When you buy this, it is calibrated. Nothing else needs done to it. So those are the ways that you can do it at home. Save you time, save you money, save you a headache. Make sure your tools are within your proper calibration. Until next time, guys, this is Project Commons. I'll see you later.